Extreme Trends presents, if you see a purple butterfly on a baby's crib, this is what it means. Before we begin, do us a favor and click that like button. Also subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. Stickers are used for many reasons. Some use it for design and decoration. Some use it for signage, and so on. However, there's this specific sticker that was created out of an incredibly heartbreaking story. The Purple Butterfly Sticker is an unbroken purple-colored sticker mostly found on nursery cribs. What may seem like a simple layout actually has a deeper meaning. When Millie Smith and her partner Louis Can discovered that they were expecting twins during her nine-week checkup, they were ecstatic, but also very cautious. We had a couple of weeks of excitement, Smith explained. Twins run in my family. However, so far there has not been a set of twins where both have survived, so I was almost prepared for the worst. And unfortunately, her premonition was correct. At 12 weeks, the couple learned that one of the identical twin daughters, the baby girl that they had named Skye, would not live past birth due to a condition called an encephaly. This is a neural tube defect where the brain does not develop correctly. During the scan, the doctor didn't say anything. Millie was excited and loved seeing the little babies, but still the doctor was silent. Both Lewis and Millie immediately realized there must be something wrong with the results of the scan. Unfortunately, there is no treatment for this condition, and babies born with an encephaly do not live longer than a few hours or days after birth. Sky was somewhere we knew she would always be, that we could look up at the sky and remember our baby, Millie said, although they had months in advance knowing what would happen. Nothing could prepare them for the heartbreak. Millie and Lewis made the difficult decision to continue with their pregnancy, to give their other daughter, Callie, a fighting chance. Still, Millie says the entire pregnancy was wrought with emotion. The couple had also discussed organ donation and prepared to donate Skye's organs after she passes. Still, sadly, Millie went into labor at 30 weeks, missing the 36-week requirement for organ donation. When Millie went into labor and then had an emergency C-section, she prepared herself for what she had been told to expect from having a baby with an encephaly. Still, little Skye wasn't about to let a thing like statistics stand in her way of showing off a little to her mom. When the girls were born, they both cried. This was a huge moment, as the couple was told that Sky would not make a noise or move. Sky defied the odds as she lived for three hours. She was crying and moving her arms and was just like a healthy baby. It was a thousand times better than what they had expected. They were cuddling Sky when she passed away. This was the saddest time of their lives. Millie somehow felt proud that Sky fought for so long to spend time with them. After Sky's passing, the couple could not take her twin sister Callie home. The nurses were understanding and aware of the family's loss, but within four weeks, no one mentioned Sky. In the meantime, three other sets of twins were born in the hospital. The new parents were unaware of Smith's loss. One day, a parent made an innocent remark to Smith. None of the other parents knew what had happened or anything about Skye, Millie explains. The comment was completely innocent and more out of humor. A parent of twins turned to me when their babies were crying and said, you are so lucky you just have one. They weren't to know that I did at one point have two. But the comment nearly broke me. I ran out of the room in tears and they had no idea why. I didn't have the heart to tell them what had happened. A simple sticker would have avoided that entire situation, Millie pointed out. Many families who have had a baby pass are given a private room at the hospital. Still, because Callie was in the NICU, Millie and Lewis were there with her, and a lot of other parents who didn't know their story. It was then that Millie realized it would be helpful to have a simple way to honor a lost baby and help the other families know of the situation gently and respectfully. She took a vow to herself to make sure no other parent would ever have to go through that again. Millie designed a purple butterfly to be placed on a newborn's cot and incubators. This explains to nurses, doctors, and other families that the baby was part of a multiple birth, and one of the newborns did not survive. I chose butterflies as I felt it was fitting to remember the babies that flew away. The color purple because it's suitable for both boys and girls, Millie explains. And although the premise of stickers may seem simple, she believes that in addition to helping other families in the NICU settings, visitors and volunteers being aware of a multiple loss, the stickers can help alert staff in the hospital as well, which is vital in a setting where so many medical professionals come and go quickly. Millie and Lewis have also worked hard to set up the Sky High Foundation to raise awareness and funds for what she hopes will become a charity in Sky's honor. She is even planning a skydiving event as one of the fundraisers. Millie believes that the stickers are a vital way to make a difference to grieving families. Still, they also hope to raise money for additional resources, such as support groups, 
counseling, more daisy rooms, and even other stuff like bereavement midwives. The Kingston Hospital, as well as many others in the United Kingdom, have followed suit. She hopes that this foundation extends globally. As for Callie, she is back home with her parents and soaking up all of the snuggles she can with her family, and her sister Skye up in the sky. Thanks for watching until the end. Be sure to tap the next videos for more inspiring stories right here on Extreme Trends.